My name's Morgan Phillips. I'm an adventure photographer based out of Seattle, Washington. We're uh, in Whitefish, Montana, and we're gonna do some skinning today and take some photos. I always find my best photos come when I push myself, and one way that I like to push myself is skin over some ridges, try to get some unique terrain that other people maybe aren't willing to go to, and um, get those unique shots. Some of the things we're gonna to learn today are ways to pop a subject out of the background by using the trees and using some contrast, stuff like that, as well as shooting motion, stopping the motion, as well as adding some blur to the shot so you get that, that speed look. And also, we're going to do some blue hour photos with uh, headlamps and maybe some light. Might be cool. <laughs> One of the trickiest parts about shooting in snow is that it's white, it overexposes the shot. So I like to underexpose so I can keep the texture of the snow and then I can deal with that in post. Right now I'm framing him between these two trees just as he's about to drop over the edge. This is a uh, kind of a storytelling shot. It's definitely a challenge to shoot with big gloves on, but uh, it's pretty cold out here. So yeah, I think we're good here. So today we're using the Nikon Z6. It's Nikon's new full frame um, mirrorless camera. It's a uh, small form factor, so it's easy to carry, easy to pack, which is uh, giving it a pretty big advantage over the larger DSLRs. We made it to the top of the mountain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go set up a shot right now where the skier's moving quickly, and I'm gonna shoot it in two ways. I'm gonna shoot it in a faster shutter speed, or we're gonna stop that motion, and then I'm gonna shoot it in a slower shutter speed. And the slower shutter speed's gonna allow me to kind of track him and get that, that motion blur in the background. Um, turn it on at least 2 50th of a second, preferably higher, so you can kind of stop that motion mid-turn. And I'm shooting also at F8 because I want more stuff in focus. I went ahead and changed my camera to manual focus because I'm just gonna focus on a point in front of the tree where he's actually gonna do his turn. It's gonna be easier than using just autofocus to do it. When you put it on manual focus and you set focus peaking on, it'll, t it'll light up green if you hit something that's in focus. That's kind of cool. So we, we got the shot, we, uh, we stopped the motion, he's like, he's got a good turn, good powder slash, it's, it's pretty cool. I think with a good edit, it'll look good. I asked the model today to wear blue because of the, the lighting conditions, we want him to kind of pop off that background. If he was wearing gray or black, he would just sink into the trees, which is not what we're looking for. The way I like to travel in the backcountry and shooting like snow is I like to keep my camera on this camera clip. That's made by Peak Design. I just pop the camera off and I'm ready to shoot. It's easy. After skinning and riding all day, we are now heading out. Um, blue hours kind of set in as much as it can in this overcast sky. So for our last shot, uh, we're going to take some photos of a subject in trees with a headlamp on, lighting the trees at blue hour. Some tips for shooting blue hour are gonna be full manual mode, so you can control the exposure completely. If you put it on anything automatic, it's gonna try to overexpose it and you're gonna get a lot of grain and it's not gonna look right. I have mine set on ISO 250, 160th, and F4. So what I ended up doing was I used this tree as foreground. I shined my headlamp at it, just to, get, just to brighten it up and give it a little bit more depth. So that's it, uh, we're done with the day. This is how I like to push myself. I spend my time on the slopes, skiing, taking photos. So I encourage you to go out there and find how you wanna push yourself. <laughs>